so you want to invest and how much do you need to get started we're going to talk about that in today's video coming up what's up money geeks mr v here welcome to another video guys so um like i said today's video we're going to um, answer some questions that i've been getting from um some of you guys asking me about um how to get started with investing and subsequently how much do you need to invest in the stock market so a lot of people have been asking those questions so i want to kind of uh, put that in a video so that um you guys can actually follow it or share it with people that um may be asking those questions so um before we get started guys if you're new to the channel definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because i'm getting um you know a message from youtube that 90 percent of uh you guys are not subscribed to my channel so definitely uh, hit the subscribe button because that helps um grow the channel grow it just helps the youtube algorithm uh, when you guys subscribe so um most people you're looking at getting into the stock market it, it, it sounds exciting or it sounds scary um and you're wondering like what is my entry point how do i get into the stock market so um i'm gonna give you guys a little bit i'll take you guys down mem memory lane for me um i started with the stock market back in 2009 um and the, the platform that i used back then was uh scott trade um it's since gone through um a whole lot of acquisition um i think now they're uh td ameritrade um but yeah so back then it was seven dollars for you to do a trade seven dollars commission so if you want to buy a stock even if that stock is five dollars they'll charge you seven dollars to buy that one stock you sell it even if you're selling it for three dollars they'll charge you seven dollars for selling it so just to go in and out of a trade it was 14 dollars back in 2009 2010. so fast forward to 2020 um we have all these different platforms now like uh, m1 like robin hood like so far like uh webo um like stockpile um and, and so this all these companies now have they've come a long way where they are commission free and they've actually forced all the other bigger players in the space like vanguard uh fidelity um like e-trade all these bigger names to start doing commission free trading which is beautiful for me and you as consumers and, and so if you're looking at hey where do i start um i want to get my hands wet i want to get into the stock market and i'll tell you this um the best way for you to learn is not just sitting on the sideline and watching it's for you to actually be in the stock market to learn um and when i say being in the stock market i'm not saying that you should take your entire life savings and throw it in the stock market you, i mean you're smarter than that so you can start with as little as ten dollars um twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars fifty dollars so if you have anything within that range that you can say hey this is money for me to learn uh, it, assume that you're just buying a book for say, 30 bucks on the amazon so you take that money um you choose one of the platforms that i just talked about here and put that money in there and play around with it and you that would teach you a better lesson as opposed to just sitting there or just reading and you can read books along the way but if you are in the market you can learn faster than if you're just reading or listening to people um so my goal is that by the end of this video i want you to get your butt off the couch and start it and get into the market and start getting a feel of it and just getting that experience so what does it take for you to get started um it takes three key things right the first thing is that obviously you need money um the second one is that you need a platform for you to invest that money in and the third is you need to invest the money in something which is in this case uh, a stock um, or uh, a security so when I say security, that means individual stocks, ETFs, um, index funds, and all that good stuff. So I don't want to scare you with you know, all those names, but basically I just call them security in this case. So um, if you have $50, let's say, to start with, um, then you choose a platform. 
a what are the criteria for you to actually choose a platform that you want to invest in um, number one you can look at how easy the platform is for you to use um, and again for you that's just starting out I would encourage you to to use one of the, the easiest platforms so um, you can use uh, uh, something like Robinhood you can't go wrong with Robinhood I'll put the link in the description and if you sign up for Robinhood using that link you get one free stock or you can use our let's say M1 M1 is another platform that's really good um, the, the, the first phase of M1 is pretty easy but it, it takes a little bit of a learning curve to actually understand the different pies and how you can use them but when I say a little bit of a learning curve it's not difficult I, I'm pretty sure you can do it because pretty much everybody that I've seen that's uh, been on M1 they figure it out or you can use uh, SoFi, which is still another good one, um, very clean and not super complicated. Um, and again, all these platforms that I'm talking about, I'm gonna put the links in the, in the description below. So if you sign up to any of these platforms using those links, um, with, uh, again, like I said, with Robinhood, you get a free stock with M1 Finance. I think they give you $10 to start investing with. With SoFi, you get uh, $25 if you deposit, I think $1,000. Um, and so, I mean, it, 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 the point here is I want you to pick a platform. So if I were to recommend for you that's just starting out, I would say go with Robinhood because it's so easy. Uh, pretty much you sign up, your account gets approved, you deposit your $50 or $100 to start with, and then just like that, you're ready to start buying stocks. So like, so let's recap here. So to, for you to get started, you need three things, right? You need your cash, you need your platform, and you need the stock or the securities that you want to invest in. So we, we've, we've already concluded that you have the cash. We've said you can choose Robinhood as your platform, and then the securities to invest in. That's where you can start looking at what stocks are available. So for under $10, a stock like Ford Motor Company, um, you can buy that. And again, the goal is not for you to become rich overnight, but the goal is for you to learn um, how the stock market works. I want you to be able to just buy a stock, even if you hold it for two days or three days and don't make any profit, but sell it. It's commission free, so you're not worrying about losing anything. So if you buy it for $10 and after two days, it's still $10, you sell it. But I want you to be able to go through the process of buying and selling because that's gonna help you understand how the market really works. And in that process, now you start learning um, how to do research, looking for the different stocks or like dividend paying stocks and all that good stuff. But again, you cannot uh, kind of want to learn about it if you're not in this space. So I'll say get started um, getting this space. Now let's move on to point number two. I know I really talked about it a little bit, which is um, how much money do you need to start with? Um, there is no set amount of money for you to start investing. You can start investing with, with as little as $1 on any of this platform that I just mentioned. So if you sign up for Robinhood, again, the link's in the description, you get a free stock. And even if you put $1, you can invest that $1 into a stock and learn. Does that, does that really make sense? I mean, like you can start literally with $1 because it's commission free. I, I just want to emphasize that. So if you have, if you can sacrifice $10 uh, a month, you put that into that account, and you buy some stocks and just get a feel of it. Um, the most important thing about the stock market that I've actually seen over the years is you, for you to actually um, get money in the long run, you have to be in the market for the long run. So somebody that bought stocks in 2009 or 2010, by 2020, those stocks would have either, some of them would have doubled in price. And if they're paying dividends, you've, you, you would have collected dividends over 10 years, which is awesome. So. The longer you wait, the more time you're wasting because you're never going to get that time back. Start investing as early as possible, as young as possible, um, because in that way you have enough time for that for to put in money. And again, you're putting in money under less pressure because you're starting with ten dollars or twenty dollars a month. But when you are like in your forties and your fifties. For you to actually save up and get enough money to put in there, you're going to, you're going to be requiring yourself to put in at least a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars a month to see the same gain that somebody that started in their twenties and putting in twenty or thirty dollars a month will get by the time they turn fifty. So um, that's that's just a quick nugget that I wanted to give out to you guys. So um, again, recap. 
how do I start in the stock market and how much do I need to start with? Um, basically, you don't need any rocket science degree to get in the stock market. You have to be in the space to, to get started. So you need money, you need a platform, and you need securities to invest in. So um, again, I'll put a link in the description to all the platforms. Just sign up, go in there, browse around, look at it. And if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section. My goal for you is to start like yesterday. And, and just move forward. Start with as little as possible and just continue to grow on that and continue to put more money as you learn and understand what it takes. Uh, and again, even choosing other securities, you can just find things that you love. If you love going to Starbucks, you love Starbucks coffee, how about you buy your stocks? Because it's people like you going there, those are the people that are, are growing that company, making it uh, flourish. So you buy your stock. If you like driving a Tesla, how about you, you show your love for a Tesla by buying Tesla stock and then as it grows you make money so those are some of the tricks that you can actually just uh, implement to find what you want to buy so question of the day uh, what's holding you back from starting your investment journey let me know in the comment section again guys if you if you new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to uh, save money how to invest money how to build what so if that's something that really interests you just go ahead and hit that subscribe button again and the notification icon because it helps the YouTube algorithm and as always guys stay motivated